Okay, so this is me prepping the fish for the curried fish, stew, whatever it is, good eats, you know what I'm saying? This is me, everybody see it, word up. So this is the night before, this is the prep action, this is where it all takes place. So we're going to stick this in the refrigerator, and then we're going to let it marinate overnight. Excuse the messy refrigerator, we're going to work on that when the cleaning lady gets here. But that's what this is where it all begins, right here, right here in the yeah, prep. Yeah, we back the next day, ready to get this this fish, this curry fish stew on, whatever you want to call it. Right here, what we got? We got the same season fish we did last night. We got the um some green bananas, some okra, and I got some scallions mixed up in there. We're gonna we're gonna wash those and get them right, you know, get them nice and clean before we stick them into the ill concoction. I had to, I was gonna originally use this pot, but I was like, yo, it ain't big enough, so we pulled out the ill big crazy restaurant style pot. You know what I'm saying? We got some vegetarian. Swanson's vegetarian broth over here. You know what I'm saying? Butter beans. You need the butter beans. Real important. I found this can of um breadfruit up in the cabinet. You know, I ain't really a fan of no canned breadfruit. But, you know, we gonna make it work right now. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go back into the refrigerator and go get the flour so we can knead the dumplings. You know what I'm saying? They, boom, there it is. Because what's, what's fish without dumplings? You know what I'm saying? So what we did over here is, you know, we cut the ends off the okra and the stuff. We're gonna rinse that up, and then we're gonna we're gonna just put it all together, let it marinate, let it stew down. You know what I'm saying? Let it get right, and you're gonna have the crazy fish fish stew curry joint. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to call it. So we are gonna come back in a few yeah, seconds. Yeah. So. What I did now is I opened all the cans. I decided not to use the breadfruit because if it ain't fresh, I really don't want to use it. And I don't know how long that can has been in the, the, the cupboard. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do first thing now is we're going to pour the vegetable broth in the pot. There it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I bought enough vegetable broth, but, you know, we work it out. Ain't nothing a little water and some seasoning can do. We're just going to throw all of this joint up in here. We're going to throw, take the butter beans. Boom, boom, boom. Throw it in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got to pour, mix it up a little something. We don't want to lose nothing. Whoops. There it is. There it is. What else we going to do? We going to take all of this stuff right here. Oh, we got to rinse it off. We didn't rinse it off yet. Kitchen falling apart. Yeah, I got the ill industrial faucet joint home depot. I don't even know how much it costs. We're going to pour that right up in here. I think we might need... more stuff up in here so here we got the fish we are gonna dump the fish in here you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of this water just to get the rest of the season it's all about the seasoning to me you know what I'm saying shake it up shake it up there it is boom so what we are gonna do is we just gonna mix it up and taste it and then once I taste it I'm going to season it and get it right, get it the way I really want it. My hands are clean. Now we're almost there. We just need a little more salt, a little more garlic. You know what I'm saying? Get it right. I'm going to turn this fire down to like a medium high. And um, we're going to keep it moving. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here some vegetables. Because I know we got some vegetables up in here. What we got up in here? Broccoli, florets, cauliflower, moth, broccoli. Let me see. Baby corn vegetable blend. I like the way that sounds. I think I think we're gonna go with the baby corn broccoli blend. Yeah. If you know me, you know how I do, man. I keep the the sea bass on deck at all times because it's real important. Scallions, not scallions, scallops. 
You know what I'm saying? I think this is some some tuna. You know, the tuna joint. Always got to have tuna. It's real important. What else we got in here? We got anything else in here? Yeah, I think that's good. Some turkey. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to pause right now, and I'm going to get the dumplings for the most part ready. And at the same time, I'm going to put a little more... Um, what is this vegetable broth in in here to fill it up and um I'll be right back okay okay so I'm back now we got the pot we got the pot getting ready to boil it's heating up I got it seasoned to taste I added extra curry extra garlic I added some bay leaves bay leaves is important don't sleep on the bay leaves you know what I'm saying I got the I got the um the dough for the dumplings all needed ready to go I thought I had more dumpling, more powder, but, but you know, no more powder, so whatever, whatever. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is to add the, the egg noodles. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why to add them. I see everybody add them, so I'm just doing like how they do. And I'm just letting it boil and just, you know, just waiting that we're going to let it boil, let the, the flavors, you know what I'm saying, come together and blend and just be like, yes, I love it. So we just going to sit back and wait, and I'm going to be back. Okay, so I'm back. So we, we've let this pot boil for about half an hour. It's looking and smelling right. What I do want to check on is the thickness of the sauce, the body. You know what I'm saying? I like mine to have a little body. And the body's coming, but I'm going to help it along. So what I did is I took a little flour, mixed in it with a little water, made a paste. And what I'm going to do is pour it in there. And that's going to make it thicken up. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping all my secrets. Here we go. And then I'm just going to stir it up and let it continue to cook for a little while longer. And I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. We back. There it is. Nice, thick curry soup, curry fish tea soup joint, whatever, whatever. You know, I don't even know what it is. I just put a bunch of ingredients together, got behind the stove and got busy. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Peace.